Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen. We've had a roadmap update for Alpha 3.23 with some new features being added and some being ratified and confirmed. There are also indicators of this being a slightly larger cycle for a patch, potentially anyway, and what the future of the patch is. Spoiler, there's vehicle and ship modularity coming and Vulcan integration. We've had a new 3.23 Evocati patch 2 that's made various bits more stable and is testing even more new features. Let's jump into the Alpha 3.23 roadmap update to start with. So they've confirmed new fauna, animals, in 3.23's patch. If you've been following my Evocati updates, then you already know about them populating the persistent universe with the Copian, an aggressive, agile animal that travels in packs. You'll find them in varieties of areas, from grassy fields to lurking in the darkness of caves. So these are like hyenas, dogs, quite aggressive. Um, they're not huge, but they're, they're pretty big, and they're quite dangerous when they're not janking around or bugging out. Populating the persistent universe as well is the birds, the Maroc, a passive flying bird-like creature. Marocs live in flocks and are often found near lush green environments. There are also, for these, new creature hunting missions that require players to locate, kill and retrieve valuable parts of these creatures roaming around in the environment. You remove the horn of the um, sort of jackals or whatever we're calling the copians because they sort of have medical properties that you can use them for potentially. You, you sell them. You, you sell them or use them for, for missions. Um, and uh, the Marocs, they sort of have like some sort of bird ambergris. Uh, there are a couple of features now targeting a 3.23.x release as well. So not the initial launch. I actually expect some of the current 3.23 features to get pushed into a 3.23.x patch because, yeah, the patch is so meaty, the patch is so big, it sort of makes sense, right? Now, when might we get a 3.23.x patch? Well, that's probably going to be around Fleet Week, maybe, though it's hard to get a grasp of how long a 3.23.x cycle could be because it could be 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, yeah? Um, the next major patch is supposed to be 4.0, which is roughly targeted at summer, so expect it sort of Q3 would be my, my expectation. So 3.23 might be around for a while, or the 4.0 patch might contain some important features, but not be as meaty as 3.23s beyond like having pyro and server meshing in there. So it might be like, well, actually there's a huge amount of content area added, but not a huge amount of new features. Some new features, but not as many as 3.23. We'll have to wait and see. Um, it's, it's going to be based on how long it takes for them to want to then get 4.0 out the door after 3.23 has been launched. So, what's actually planned for 3.23.x or 0.1 patch at the moment? Vehicle modularity. This is something I've been hyped about since as early as I can remember in my sort of Star Citizen affair. Like, quite genuinely, that's one of the first memories I have is like, oh, modularity of ships. Awesome. I'm, I'm into that. So this is implementing the ability to swap modular sections of certain vehicles to change their function. This initial release contains the torpedo and cargo room modules for the Aegis Retaliator, with additional modules and vehicles to be added in the future. They are updating the Aegis Retaliator to gold standard as well, but then yeah, it's a modular ship and you can change out those um, cargo and torpedo modules in the front and back. It's just one ship at this stage. It's not a huge deal or anything, but it's a big step towards actually getting what I want in game, which is a lot more ship functionality and customization. And that, yeah, I just want modularity for so many ships, allowing them to do so many more things. The Caterpillar, getting tons of different modules, things like that. That's pretty exciting for me because I like ship customization and I like going, well, I've got these ships and I want to focus on doing uh, this particular mission today. Bam, that's really outfit a ship to be really good at that. Something else that's being talked about at the moment by CIG and rumoured is Vulcan deployment. So potentially this might make 3.23 or at least be tested very soon in Evocati and sort of tech preview patches. This is going to help with a load of things, making Star Citizen a bit more scalable, potentially giving a variety of modern graphics options. CPU and GPU usage should be more optimal. And there's a slew of other graphics improvements potentially coming with it. 3.23 has DLSS and TSR, the dynamic res upscaling stuff, which is going to be great for a lot of people that want a better Star Citizen experience and are looking for performance options for that. The reason I mention that is because Vulcan can make better use of that. I would expect Star Citizen to look a little bit better as well, quite genuinely, with Vulcan deployed and that being able to use a load of new sort of graphic updates 
could we see faster frame rates because maybe they're supported better by GPUs and stuff like that as well? Potentially, but a lot of it does need to then be dialed in and optimized, right? So um, maybe just at the first implementation, we're not going to get everything we want from this, but um, we'll get some of it and then CIG will refine and iron out and improve and evolve. I do want to highlight a couple of other features that aren't on the roadmap for 3.23 at the moment. Things like the hangar ship elevators. So we know that you can actually spawn a ship in your personal persistent hangar while being in the hangar at the same time. It will literally come out of a uh, elevator in the floor. Boop! Not the cargo freight elevators. These are different. These are for ships and vehicles specifically. And there's also sort of customization that you're going to be able to do with those persistent hangars. Are there going to be new base items, new sort of customization, flare items, seating and lots of other stuff? Well, almost certainly. There is a new Evocardi patch that's being tested out as well at the moment for 3.23. And with this, they've added the a new arena commander mode, Gravlev Royale. So this comes with a ton of new maps as well. So um, if you're on the Evocardi build, test that out. Um, there's a, a, actually a load of changes here. They've updated the Gunrush weapon set. There's a Pirate Swarm update. We talked about this the other day. Basically, the sort of Idris are very, very powerful at the moment. They've had an AI update. So um, at the end of Pirate Swarm, you'll be fighting an Idris, which can be quite hard and difficult to deal with. The Javelins at the moment, the they're not working properly. So they sort of turn up and they're trash. So they're under maintenance. So Clan Imperium have said, to ensure we keep the Pirate Swarm at bay, a Bengal class carrier flagship will now host the F8 Lightning Squadron as part of the response fleet against the stolen pirate Idris. So that's a really cool thing. You'll see the updated Bengal carrier there and F8s. Hopefully that will persist into uh, wider testing so people can experience uh, all of that jazz. Uh, there's team balance adjustments they've been testing uh, after using the previous patches to experiment with different team balancing configurations. We have landed on a simplified version where squads will only be separated in case of extreme team imbalance for fair gameplay. In addition, we've added a new team balancing step to the pregame, which will give players more time to connect before team balancing takes effect. Uh, beyond that, there's been an AI creature movement polish pass. Uh, green zones around unlawful locations should no longer warn about crime stats. There's been a ton of quality of life improvements and bug fixes. There's been some minimap polish and mobiglass polish um, for that sort of minimap app. Um, so it, yeah, th th there's a ton of stuff here that they've been trying to improve and make work properly with pathfinding and showing appropriate stuff on that minimap the whole experience should feel and look a lot better. Uh, in some other news, the Arena Commander mode Kill Collector is dropping holographic hot dogs as part of the sort of like trigger fish April Fool's stuff. Uh, I think that's available until Sunday. I don't know if there's anything else special about that or anything else you can earn from that, but I like playing in this mode just in case. And also because, you know, it's a new silly game mode or it, it's something different, right? Just go, oh, lol. I am super excited for modularity in ships like quite genuinely it's it's a big thing for me I, I just want that sort of level of eve customization in ships where i sit down and i try and make a ship fit for a particular thing and i just love doing that i, I just there's something about choosing modules and choosing loadouts for ships that makes me excited and more customization to star citizen ships the better in my opinion Alpha 3.23 is approaching wider testing. We don't know exactly when it's going to start wider testing. Could it be this week? Could it be next week? Are they going to be able to make their April sort of target deadline of getting it out to live during this month? Are there going to be even more features added? Are some things going to get pushed off the initial launch of 3.23 to a X build? When is Alpha 4.0 going to come out? Whatever you think about all those sort of things, I would love to know in the comments below including are you excited for Vulcan and those animals and stuff like that. Oh, Zin, Zin is sort of back at work now, but she um, t she's taking it easy. So I'm going to do some outros and stuff in the short term. So NordVPN, you should certainly try that out because that will make you click the links below and I get money, you get NordVPN, we're both happy, and it's the best darn VPN that I advertise on my channel. Also, every month we have a ship giveaway, and for this month of April, it's for a Hornet F7C Mark II, that new medium fighter, pew 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 pew. Just comment on any of my videos made during the month to be in for a chance of winning that. You should also consider subscribing to the channel, but also clicking the join button under my videos, because some people do that, and that really helps the channel, because it's like you, you give a little bit of money each month, and that helps us make daily videos, and that sort of jazz. People that do that, thank you so much. You are awesome people. Yeah, that's all I want to say, really. Thanks for watching. Have a great April.
and I'll see you in the verse.